Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In an interview with Soaps.com, actress Sharon Case gave a sneak peek. She claims that her immediate reaction after reading the script was, how am I going to do this? So fans should ready themselves for a wild trip over the next few days. Case goes on to say that when she saw the special anniversary script, she was on every page and that it was almost a little scary while taping the show. Light our viewers were first relieved during the Wednesday, September 25 episode when Shira opted not to kill Daniel Romilotti, Michael Graziade, after sneaking into his condo and putting an unknown material in his whiskey. She ended up throwing the vodka down the drain going against Cameron Kirsten's Lyndon Ashby, wishes to kill Daniel in order to finally obtain justice for Cassie Newman's, Cameron Grimes, death. Despite the lack of medication, Sharon was thinking clearly when she realized that hurting Daniel would not aid her grieving process. Rather, it would exacerbate the grief of those around her. Of course, just as she was about to depart, she came upon Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, who was returning home from a hard day out. Heather and Sharon appeared stunned to see each other. However, the most frightening moment occurred on the Thursday, September 26 episode, when Sharon blacked out and appeared to murder Heather. She even quickly cleaned up the crime scene and dropped Heather's body over a bridge into the river. Still, was this a hallucination? Is this a bad dream? Is this a dreadful fantasy? If Heather's exing was not real, may this scenario have a twist. Perhaps Sharon snaps out of whatever domain she is in, and something bizarre occurs to her. There is always the possibility that this scenario will change and Heather will accidentally kill Sharon in an attempt to defend herself, or Sharon will be involved in a car accident while fleeing the police or loved ones. It will be interesting to see how Sharon's anniversary show plays out. After all, if Sharon truly ended Heather on the Thursday, September 26th episode, it would be unusual for Soap to follow up with a tribute episode for Sharon. Will they focus on what she has overcome, or all of her previous mistakes? Fans will recall a special episode about Colleen Carlton Tamman Sersok, who was kidnapped by Patty Williams' Stacey Hayduck in 2009. When the rug was pulled out from under fans, it appeared like Colleen would survive the experience, but she died. The storyline twist definitely caught the audience off guard. So, could this special episode serve as a tribute for Sharon's time at GC? Could Sharon die this week? Could Case be departing the show? Fans were outraged earlier this year when Sharon had no clear plot and didn't come on canvas as frequently as they would have wanted. Perhaps Sharon was simply put on the back burner for a brief period of time. After all, Jordan's Colleen Zank plotline was hot and heavy, dominating the canvas at the time. Did Sharon Case want to go away from the soap? Perhaps Sharon Case is ready for a new chapter or to take a break from the show. Sharon's plotline has sparked so much interest among viewers, thus the plot shock of Sharon's death would undoubtedly be a great surprise. The Young and the Restless spoilers warn viewers to expect the unexpected, so it'll be intriguing to watch how Sharon's current tale concludes and what occurs during her special episode. Sharon probably won't remember killing Heather, but she will remember the anguish of discovering Heather was dead and dumping her body down the bridge. Sharon will be haunted by those recollections, which will continue to play on repeat in her head. Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, wants Sharon to keep her guilt to herself and pretend everything is fine, but how can she do that now? Sharon is not a monster, therefore she will experience remorse and wonder how things got so out of control. Sharon clearly needs mental health treatment, but she will mourn knowing that it is too late for Heather. Sharon will go to Cassie Newman's, Cameron Grimes, grave and have an emotional graveyard meltdown. Will Cassie appear to Sharon while she is there and provide any wisdom? Whatever the case, Friday's program will be memorable since it marks Sharon Case's 30th anniversary on Y&R. 
It will be a Sharon-centric show, with flashbacks to her Geno City adventure, so Sharon will reflect on her past while also considering her present and future. Sharon must decide what to do next after her walk down memory lane. Will Sharon continue to conceal up Heather's dreadful news, or will she come clean? It's worth noting that the presence of dark attire on set Carol has recently filmed. If Heather's body is not discovered until later, it may be necessary to say farewell. Of course, the show has allowed some wiggle room for Sharon's guilt, because no one saw her kill Heather. If this death is true and not a hoax, may someone else be to blame in an unexpected twist. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Sharon is in for a lot of surprises, so we'll keep you updated on her fate and what her next chapter will be like. Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, will ask Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grezia Day, what Sharon is doing in their penthouse. Heather refuses to trust Sharon's explanations, so Sharon ultimately admits she broke in, Although Sharon will finally say that she tried to persuade Daniel to leave town, Heather will definitely suspect something more nefarious is going on. Sharon will deny any knowledge of the broken glass on the floor, but Heather will opt to contact the police. Heather will believe Sharon requires professional assistance and will even recommend contacting Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, at one point. Sharon will beg Heather to let things go, but Heather will insist on getting the police involved. Heather will pick up her phone when Sharon whacks it out of her hand before engaging in a battle with her. When Sharon pushes Heather to the floor, she will briefly pass out before opening her eyes and saying Sharon is insane. However, Sharon would eventually black out and awaken to discover Heather dead from a horrific head wound. Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, will point out that Sharon was the only one with Heather. Therefore, he'll assume she did it. Sharon will weep in sorrow and try to understand anything, but Cameron will insist she go to work or face incarceration. Cameron will admit that Sharon may claim insanity, but he wonders what Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and her children would think. Sharon will eventually determine that Cameron is correct about erasing the crime scene. Thus, she will wrap Heather's body in a sheet and blanket. Sharon will wipe up any blood stains and retrieve Heather's phone once she loads the body into her vehicle. Sharon will also remove all of the broken glass and the empty whiskey bottle, ensuring that no evidence of her presence remains. After driving to the bridge, Sharon will seek Heather's forgiveness before throwing her body into the river. Sharon will stay distraught when she returns to her motel sanctuary where Cameron will urge that whatever remorse Sharon feels must be kept private. When Cameron wants Sharon to seem surprised when she learns of Heather's abduction, he will recommend she come up with a solid cover story. Cameron will remind Sharon of what's at risk and question whether she can pretend nothing occurred tomorrow, but Sharon will have no idea. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Sharon will struggle to cope with the tragedy of it all, so we'll keep you updated on her breakdown and make more predictions for the future. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.